Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft and today I built the back rooms and my friend is going to try to escape it. It's this big, the biggest maze I've ever built. So big it's actually kind of hard to fit into the screen and I'm actually going to keep, uh, well, I'm going to actually keep adding on to it and do more and more and more levels. Here, we're in level one, the lobby. Now, this is a pretty challenging one, because all of the rooms, they split off into different tunnels, and to make it even harder, there's command blocks setting you back. Alright, seems that he's going this way. And there's one of the command blocks. If he goes down that hole, it'll just put him there. Oh, whoops, and Alex, and TP's me too, because I because the command block command so basically if he goes into that hole he'll come out the roof so it's basically like an infinite thing that's pretty confusing but yeah anyways looks like he's going up the staircase now also sorry there's a little bit of lag on my end uh so yeah as there pretty much always is but it's fine <laughs> all right Alright, looks like he just went down the staircase really quick. Whoops. Alright. He's back at... And now he's somehow back at this, uh... The falling area. Now he's going back up the staircase. And now... He's back where he started. Pretty confusing, but... Yeah. Anyways. Looks like he's going to go... Straight. All right, that's where he is in the maze right now. And looks like he's back into, back into where he spawned. Now he's going back away from where he spawned and looks like he found the second level. Also, I am using DecoCraft for this mod, uh, or for this uh, uh, little maze that I made to add on to the field. This is supposed to be like a little table. Uh, I don't know, it's just supposed to be like a little table that I thought would be sort of interesting to add, but yeah. So he, now he can break the trap door to go through the one by one block gap. Oh, and I also used the um, the hiker's friend add-on to uh, add lanterns. Uh, so I could use that to um, also add on to the smiler effect, which is basically the smiler, uh, some sort of creature that lurks in the dark. So yeah, here he can take the lantern out of the iron frame. He can actually hold it in his hand and turn it on. And then you can walk through the darkness and have it light up wherever he walks. It's super cool looking. So technically, if you were actually playing in the back rooms, uh, this would keep the smilers away. Live, craft, love. <laughs> That's what that sign said, by the way. And then this is the uh, the, the party room. Uh, if you don't know what this the it, what it is, the party room is basically a version of the normal back rooms, but a ton of different rooms where a kid's birthday party would take place. So yeah. And there's another command block setting, that which is supposed to imitate an infinite tunnel that you can never get to the end of. Yeah. All right. And then, there we go. And then if he goes down that staircase with no commands whatsoever, it'll just bring him back over here <laughs> into the first party room. So pretty confusing <laughs> uh but yeah all right looks like he's confused on how to get out but the way you do it is you use these vents hidden under the chair and uh yeah you can't really open both of the vents because one of them you'll also on accident sit in the chair from but yeah then you have to go through the uh vents and uh become the imposter i'm just kidding <laughs> if you get that uh reference uh comments in the comments down below But yeah, so then, uh, he, right now he's looking down that, that hole. It just leads to the void, so, you know, likely he can't activate it. And then, he's in to the pool rooms. Looks like there's something over here that I built. <laughs> but yeah, so if you do that, you fall, and it activates a, uh, command block that TPs you back to the very start of the pool rooms. So yeah. 
but uh yeah this took me two hours to build so i hope you guys enjoy the uh, video uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed the video of it basically so yeah and then if he goes down this tunnel he goes into here now you might be a little confused hey isn't that the core of the party rooms and then bam back in the party rooms infinite tunnel probably pretty confusing and i wouldn't blame you i mean it is pretty confusing um <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so yeah, now he's going down the staircase, and now he's uh, back where he TP'd to, <laughs> uh, using the command block, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it looks like he's actually confused on where he is, and now, uh, yeah, now he can go back through the vent, oh man, major deja vu, <laughs> uh, uh, get it, because we just did this, but anyways, um, yeah, anyways, now... He is back into the pool rooms, so that's great. And, uh, yeah. Now it looks like he's back over here. Looks like he's trying to see if he can get down there without an X and hitting a command block. No, there are command blocks there. I just put iron trap doors to, or iron, uh, uh, pressure plates to sort of trick you. But, yeah. Also, if you're wondering why he's still lighting up the area, it's because he has the lantern in his inventory. And it actually does uh, light up your inventory by doing it. Looks like he's trying to get down. Cannot get down. <laughs> oh, there we go. He got through. Well, anyways, hope you enjoyed t today's Minecraft video on the backrooms that I built in Minecraft. So long, folks. Bye.